perched between the steep cliffs of Guizhou Province's Wajiang Grand Canyon. A colossal infrastructure project is turning heads around the world. The Wajiang Canyon Bridge, currently in its final stages of construction, is set to become the tallest bridge on the planet. Once completed, it will soar an astonishing 625 meters above the canyon floor, higher than the Shanghai Tower and the Empire State Building. Located in Qiangshanan Prefecture, this megastructure is part of China's expanding network of high altitude, expressways that are not just reshaping landscapes, but also changing lives. Captivating drone footage released on June 29, 2025, reveals the bridge's breathtaking scale and its delicate placement across a gorge once considered impossible to conquer. This towering marvel of steel and concrete is poised to become not only an engineering record breaker, but also a new symbol of China's ambition to connect. Its most remote and rugged terrains, the bridge forms a crucial segment of the Shantakun Ming Expressway, a vast infrastructure initiative designed to integrate southern China's mountainous interior with the rest of the country. In regions like Guizhou, where steep valleys and karst peaks dominate the horizon, conventional road travel can be painfully slow and treacherous. Before the bridge, the route from Liuzi to Anlong required over 70 minutes of careful, winding driving through the mountains. The Wajang Canyon Bridge, stretching nearly 3 kilometers, 2,890 meters in total, will cut that travel time to under 3 minutes. An astonishing leap forward in efficiency and accessibility. Construction of the bridge officially began. In early 2022, designed as a suspension bridge, it features two immense towers, each 262 meters tall, anchoring a main span of 1,420 meters. These figures make it the longest suspension bridge in a mountainous area anywhere on Earth. The engineering challenges were considerable. Winds through the canyon can be intense and unpredictable. And the construction site lies in one of China's most geologically complex areas. To tackle these issues, engineers developed a high-strength steel truss system to stabilize the deck. While massive main cables were installed with millimeter-level precision using satellite positioning systems, a total of 93 steel truss segments, weighing more than 22,000 tons, were hoisted and connected high above the canyon floor. The logistical demands of transporting, aligning, and securing such heavy components at altitude were daunting. Yet the project stayed remarkably close to schedule. What makes this bridge even more remarkable is the workforce behind it. According to two project reports, over 90% of the core team were engineers and technicians under the age of 35. Young generation trained in China's most advanced universities and technical colleges, these workers braved harsh weather conditions and dizzying. Heights often operating machinery suspended hundreds of meters above ground. It was a relay of precision, pressure, and persistence, said Wang Song Yu, one of the lead project managers. Each bolt, each cable had to be perfect, because this bridge is not just about statistics, it's about trust and legacy. Teams worked around the clock, supported by a logistics network that delivered food, equipment, and materials to cliffside platforms, accessible only by temporary lifts or narrow mountain roads. But the Wajiang Canyon Bridge is not only a triumph of engineering, it is also a socioeconomic catalyst. Guizhou Province has long been one of China's least developed regions, partly due to its difficult terrain. Projects like this are designed to change that, creating infrastructure that attracts investment, opens up tourism, and connects people to opportunity. Local leaders expect the bridge to boost GDP in nearby counties, count enhance logistics efficiency for industries, and improve access to healthcare, schools, and government services for thousands of families. According to officials, the new link will also form part of a 1 OAR Golden Tourism Ring, tying together attractions such as the Guanling Fossil Geopark, the Wajiang Canyons, scenic trails, and the famous Wangushu Waterfall. Already hotels, restaurants, and service areas are under construction nearby in preparation for the influx of travelers. The bridge is location over a canyon that already draws tourists for its majestic views and rich biodiversity adds another layer to its significance. Planners are capitalizing on this by integrating tourism features directly into the bridge's design. 
Once completed, the Wajiang Canyon Bridge will include glass-floored observation decks, a panoramic elevator, a cliffside cafe, and facilities. For extreme sports such as bungee jumping and zip lining, by blending transportation infrastructure with tourism, the project aims to become not just a highway, but a destination. It's more than just a bridge, said Chen Zhongli, deputy, director of the Guizhou Transportation Department. It's a platform for tourism, for commerce, and for the future of Western China. As with any mega project, the Wajiang Canyon Bridge also presents challenges and risks. The environmental impact of such large-scale construction is being carefully monitored with preservation zones marked along sensitive ecological corridors. Wind, rain, and seismic activity must be continually measured to ensure long-term structural integrity. Maintenance operations for a bridge of this height will be ongoing and complex, requiring advanced sensors, drones, and specialized inspection. Teams, safety concerns are especially important, both for travelers and tourists drawn to the bridge's recreational facilities. Authorities have already begun drafting strict safety protocols and emergency response plans to prepare for the bridge's opening. International observers have taken note of the project's significance. Engineering experts from across the globe have praised China's ability to execute such an ambitious project in less than four years faster than similar efforts in more developed nations. Professor Mamda El Badri of Canada's University of Calgary commented that the Wajiang Canyon Bridge is a landmark in both design and execution, calling it a symbol of China's rapidly expanding expertise in high-altitude infrastructure. Online forums and social media platforms have echoed this sentiment. With photos and footage of the bridge drawing millions of views and sparking admiration and a fair amount of vertigo. Despite its high profile, the Wajiang Canyon Bridge is just one part of a broader story unfolding in China's interior. Over the past decade, the country has invested heavily in transportation infrastructure in provinces like Guizhou, Yunnan, and Sichuan. Hundreds of bridges and tunnels have been built to traverse the cliffs, rivers, and valleys that once isolated entire communities. This is not just about building roads, it's about reshaping geography, compressing time, and leveling the playing field between coastal megacities and rural heartlands. In this sense, the Wajiang Canyon Bridge is both unique and representative. It is the flagship of a much larger fleet of infrastructure designed to carry millions of people toward a more connected and prosperous future. With structural completion now nearly finished and final features like lighting, fencing, and tourist facilities being installed, the bridge is expected to open to the public in the summer of 2025. Inauguration ceremonies are reportedly being planned. With high-level officials expected to attend and the possibility of a public walkthrough before, Vehicles are allowed. For the engineers, technicians, and locals who have watched the project rise day by day, it will be a moment of pride and reflection. For the rest of the world, it will be a chance to witness a new pinnacle in civil engineering, one that towers, not just in size, but in impact. As one gazes at the bridge from afar, suspended like a silver thread between green mountain peaks, it's easy to be awed by the scale. But behind the steel and statistics lies something deeper. The human drive to overcome nature's barriers. To connect and uplift, and to build not just for function, but for inspiration. The Wajiang Canyon Bridge is the embodiment of that Vishuna, daring arc over a deep divide, linking the past, present, and future of a region long shaped by its geography. Now, thanks to this towering achievement, that geography is no longer an obstacle, it is a platform for progress.